Hi, my name is Swati and today I'm going to talk about numbers. So in numbers, the first thing which we study is the set of natural numbers. And we know in set of natural numbers, the number will start from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. In the set of numbers, if we just add 0, then the set will become the set of whole numbers. Okay, after this we will study about the properties. So in the properties, the first property I'm, that I'm going to talk about is the commutative property. In natural numbers, can we say it will follow the commutative property with respect to addition? Yes. For example, if we are taking 2 and 3, two numbers, and if we are adding it, then we will get 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. If we are just reversing the number and then we are adding it, we will get again the same number 3 plus 2, which is 5. So here we can say that the commutative property will follow in the case of set of natural numbers with respect to addition. Same case with the set of whole numbers. Now, can we say the commutative property with respect to subtraction will follow in the case of set of natural numbers or whole, or whole numbers? No. Why? Because if we take two numbers, for example, 5 and 4, and if we subtract it, then we will get 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 which is fine. But if we just reverse the number, then we will get 4 minus 5 is equal to minus 1, which is not in the set of natural numbers as well as whole numbers. So thereafter, we will see the concept of integers. What is integers? Integers basically consist of all the positive numbers and the negative numbers. So in integers, can we say that this property will hold? Yes, we can say the commutativity will hold in case of set of integers with respect to addition and with respect to subtraction. Thank you.